Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery, and today I'm going to be talking about all the books that I want to read in September. It's my birthday month. I think when this video is being posted though, it's already been my birthday. So, 22, here I come. <laughs> so, I have a very long list of books that I want to read this month. I don't know if I'm gonna be getting to all of them honestly because it is the start of school again and I'm pretty sure we're gonna get closed down obviously because like everyone's getting sick so I don't know what's gonna happen with school and everything. I don't know if I'm gonna read all of these books. There's a lot but I really want to read these books like so badly. So first we're gonna start with the books that I already own physically. First I have A Hunger Like No Other by Cressley Cole. I have the audiobook for this from Libby coming in maybe in two weeks, I don't remember. People who love paranormal romance say that this series is fantastic, especially Jen from the Book Refuge. She loves this series. She's like talked nonstop about this series and I wanna join in on all the fun and amazingness of this series. And it just deals with paranormal beings like vampires and I think werewolves or yeah, maybe werewolves. <laughs> Valkyrie, vampire, there we go. I don't remember who, what the other person is. Are they also a vampire? I don't know, <laughs> um, but I've heard great things about this series. I don't really know that much about it, so I'm going in blind, but I really trust Jen and her opinion. We have very similar tastes when it comes to paranormal stuff. So again, very excited for this. Next, I have a historical. I have Ravenburn by Laura Black. This was in my reading vlog I did where I went to Half Price Books for a day, and I found this one. It has beautiful yellow sprayed edges and it is like so old, it smells like an old book and I love it. This is about a woman who has been locked in her tower room at Castle Raven her whole life basically. She's a very nervous person and her stepmother and doctor agree that the strain of Victorian society would only harm her. It seems like she maybe has social anxiety possibly and her name's Catherine and she finds joy in her books and her freedom to explore the Scottish countryside. And one day she discovers a man hiding on a deserted island in the stream, a man destined to turn her from a shy recluse into a beauty, to involve her in adventure and intrigue. He was not the man she believed him to be, but then again, she was not the girl she thought she was. This historical just sounds so good. I've never heard anybody talk about this. I love the cover. It seems amazing because we have a bookish heroine, I believe a Scottish, Hero takes place in Scotland, so very excited for this one. Next we have A Princess in Theory by Alyssa Cole. I've been meaning to read this one for so long. Um, I'm going to get the audiobook off of Audible Escape, by the way. This one is about a woman, and I think she gets one of those like fake emails, or she thinks it's a fake email saying like, oh, you're actually a princess, a long lost princess. And she like marks it as spam or whatever, and turns out she actually is a long lost princess and then this like king or something comes to like get her and tries to marry her or something like that. I don't really know. <laughs> I've heard great things about this series. I really want to get into Alyssa Cole's books because I've just heard amazing things about her and her covers are always so pretty. I also can't wait to continue with the rest of the series because I believe number 1.5 our heroine is in a wheelchair so I want to read the disability rep in there. But again, very excited. I just keep saying I'm excited for all these books because I am. <laughs> Next, I really want to continue with the Beautiful Bastard series and read book number four, which is Beautiful Secret. I don't know who this book is about. I don't know anything about this book. I'm sorry. I'm horrible with summaries for TBR videos. That's why I normally don't make them because I don't know what to say. But this is just book number four and these are very steamy books written by Christina Warren. I actually prefer like the older steamy ones to their newer ones there are maybe only like two newer ones or three newer ones that i actually really enjoy but i love all of the beautiful bastard series really want to get to book number four i still have to read book number three I have to finish it <laughs> before the end of the month um but again really looking forward to this one. Oh, and i have the audiobook for this coming in on libby by the way so that's how i'm gonna be reading it i'm just gonna be listening to all my books on audio obviously <laughs> next i really want to reread cress by marissa meyer my favorite book in the lunar chronicles if you didn't know my lovely friend deja over at deja soar i'm linking her down below we've been rereading the lunar chronicles together because we love this series so much and i'm actually currently rereading scarlet so hopefully in september we can get to crest and maybe even winter we will see but yes this is a fairy tale retelling series um each book is about a different fairy tale and this one is about rapunzel or 
Cress, and these are futuristic books taking place on Earth that has sci-fi elements to it. I love this series so much. This book holds a very near and dear place in my heart. Um, it's very beaten up and old and well used <laughs> because I love Crescent Thorn with every fiber of my being. So <laughs> I'm definitely looking forward to this one. And the last physical book that I have like with me that I want to read is this chunky monkey. It is Redeeming Love by Francine Rivers. This book is a giant. Okay, so this is actually a Christian romance book. I've read a few Christian romance books and they haven't really worked out for me, um, but I have heard from many people, many of y'all, who have said that Francine Rivers is the way to go and she's amazing. And my best friend has read this book and she has been recommending it to me for so long. I've decided for her sake, because she really wants me to read this and she adores it and loves it, is I'm going to be making a soul reading vlog of me reading this Chunky Monkey book. It's mainly just for her, but like if you want to watch it, go ahead. <laughs> what I think this book is about, it's also a historical romance, I think, by the way. So our main character, Michael, has an amazing relationship with God and follows the Lord. And he stumbles across, I believe her name's Angel. She was sold into prostitution as a child. And God tells Michael to marry Angel and help her see the light and kind of help her form a relationship with the Lord and see where it takes him and her. And she is just baffled as to why <laughs> this man wants to marry her. Katie has told me, my best friend Katie has told me <laughs> that Michael's the type of man who just constantly tells her how much he loves her no matter what she's done or what she's going through and that God will always be there for her and it sounds amazing. I have high hopes but I'm also very nervous because again I've read a few Christian romance books and they haven't really been for me so hopefully I do really like this one though. Next I really want to read Raven's Return by Ruby Dixon, the next book in the Ice Home series. It was just released a couple days ago and I can't wait to read it. I don't know what this one is about. I don't even know who her love interest is but again an Ice Home book is a spinoff from the Ice Planet Barbarian series where there are alien romance books that take place on an ice planet uh, with blue aliens and human women. <laughs> Every time I read one of these books I'm just incredibly happy and I love them a lot. I actually am really intrigued by Raven. We've learned a little bit about her in the past books, so I'm very excited to get her story and figure out what happened because there was kind of a little bit of a cliffhanger when it came to her in the last one. So again, looking forward to this one. This one is on Kendall Unlimited, by the way, the whole series and spinoff series is. Next is one I'm super duper duper excited for. Ready? Hit the Ipos King by Grace Draven. Oh! It releases in the month of September. It is book number three in the Wraith Kings series by Grace Draven. The first book being Radiance, which is right there and is my baby. I love it so much. This one is a spinoff of it and it is about Anuzet and Saravek, who you meet in the previous book and they're like a hate to love romance. She's like a warrior woman and he's uh, this like cocky rich guy i don't i don't know if he's like a duke or something i don't really remember they're really funny together i love them so much i really want to reread radiance and eidolon to like read more about them before book number three so we'll see what that happens i think i have both of the audiobooks so we'll see if i reread those two in the month of september oh by the way this is a fantasy romance series <laughs> where there are two species of like humanoid people, the Kai and the Gowry, or humans basically. Saravek is a human, Anuzet is a Kai. Kai are like gray-skinned, yellow-eyed, sharp teeth, sharp claws people. The two species don't really merge at all, except for in the first book, they kind of changed all of that. So, very excited for this one, obviously. <laughs> Next, I really want to read Bound to the Battle God by Ruby Dixon. I read the prequel to this series. It was a little novella, and I loved it it's in my fantasy romance recommendation video i love it so much and i think this is about a different couple this one is like 600 something pages though so it might take me a while to read but i really want to read all of ruby dixon's backlist i really want to by the end of the year like i'm like hoping and praying that i'm able to do it i really want to get the big ones out of the way so looks like a girl a woman from our time falls 
through a portal into another world and she's stranded there and in this world men carry swords and gods walk the earth within minutes of arriving she's enslaved the one person that might be able to help her is also the one person she wants to throttle most aaron lord of storms butcher god of battle is my new companion or rather i am his as aaron's anger to the mortal realm she is the one that's supposed to be guiding him through his exile in the mortal world jokes on him she knows nothing about this place but she and aaron have a common goal get home and they're bonded anchor and god with a bond like any other so they travel together they bicker they bathe together they fight their many enemies together and sure he's a god but he's also an arrogant jerk brawny smoking hot irresistible jerk she should want to do nothing with him she certainly shouldn't want to do things with him. So it looks like she gets in a relationship with a god, which sounds so interesting and good. I loved her first book or the prequel book in this series, and it's like a fantasy romance. I've never read a fantasy romance by her before that, so I'm hoping that I really, really, really like this book and this series going forward. The last book on this list that I hopefully will get to in the month of September is Gifting Me to His Best Friend by Katie Robert. So this is the second book in A Touch of Taboo series and I read the first book which was Your Dad Will Do uh, earlier this year. The summary is very short. It says, this Christmas my husband is going with an unconventional gift for his best friend, me. It's only supposed to be for one night. One night becomes two becomes our entire vacation. There are no rules except for the ones we make, and sharing me brings both Derek and Grayson closer than any of us could have ever imagined. This year, what happens in our bedroom will put all three of us on Santa's naughty list. I'm so excited. I love Katie Wilde. I think maybe also her next book in the Underworld series comes out, um, which is like the fairy tale retelling books. Um, I think the Sea Witch comes out also. I should have added that to this list. Um, I'm very excited. I love Katie Wilde. Can't wait to read this one. I've already bought it. Her writing is so amazing. I can't wait to dive back into her writing. Hello, it is editing Avery here. I actually forgot a book. I wrote it on my list, but I guess I just missed it. I don't know, um, but that is Hello Stranger by Lisa Kleypas. I have been loving the Ravenels recently. Book number two and book number three are fantastic. I loved them. So I can't wait to get to book number four. Um, this is a historical romance series, obviously. And I believe this one has to do with Garrett, who is a doctor and she's a woman. So it's very rare to see a woman doctor in this time period. And I really loved her in the past couple books. So I can't wait to read her romance. So yes, I really want to read this one as well but anyways there you have it those are all the books that i hopefully will be reading in the month of september please let me know down below if you want to read any of these books with me in september please let me know but anyways thank y'all so so much for watching i will see y'all soon in my next one bye <music>